Welcome to Volunteer Tracker. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Clearances Admin Model of Approval for Volunteers. So your organization uses the clearance model for approving volunteers, which basically means that there's a special process where you as the volunteer coordinator are directly involved in the approval of volunteers. So what happens is your volunteers submit applications and when they do they select a primary location for volunteering and whoever is the primary coordinator of that first location is going to be the one responsible for the first steps of approving that volunteer. So let me just show you what this looks like. We can go to this pending volunteers quick link. So this is a list of pending volunteers that are going through the approval process. The first column is going to be the status, and this is going to indicate if the volunteer is a new applicant, has new attachments, if there's a new reviewer, or in this case for Lancaster County Schools, if they have been migrated. You all have migrated over to use this new method, and so these users that are listed as migrated are ones that were still pending in the previous system and still may require you to take a look at, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Then you can see the volunteer name. You can see if there is a new reviewer listed. And so if there is a new reviewer listed, this is going to be the person responsible for the next steps in the approval process. Now there's an indicator here if the person is an employee, in which case you may have to do some things differently. This is location one, so that primary location that the volunteer selected when they filled out their application and so you are only going to see volunteers whose primary location is your location, the location that you are the primary volunteer coordinator for. This just indicates whether the driver's license has been verified and then over here you can see the last modified and the submit date. Now let's take a look at what to do with these. So if you get a new applicant we'll say this Jane Doe is a new applicant, so we would just click on that. And so that'll open up the application, and so we can scroll through, see all of her information. And then when we get to this section with the checkboxes, this is what we call our clearances admin section. And you'll see here that there is an area where they could have submitted their driver's license. In this case, it was submitted. So I can just open that up. Now, depending on how your browser is configured, it's either just going to pop up or you'll have to come down here into the left hand corner of your computer screen. And so at this point, you know, I may just check the name against the application, the date of birth and the expiration date just to make sure that things are all correct. And then we would just simply close that. You'll see as the primary coordinator, the only thing that you need to do here is determine if the license information has been provided and that it is valid and correct. And so if that's the case, we'll just simply click yes. Now when I do that, the date is automatically going to populate over here and it's going to put my name next to whoever the reviewer is for that. You may not need to do this, but just in case you can choose the file name here. And then if there's multiple files, you can put comments here as well if you need to. But really, the only thing you need to do is say whether it's yes or no, and then it'll automatically populate with today's date. I'm also going to want to choose the next reviewer, and so this is going to be whoever your admin is. And we'll go ahead and choose that. And so this is the next person responsible for the approval process here. In this case for Lancaster, this is going to be whoever is responsible for completing the background checks and doing the final approvals. So you're pretty much finished with this application at this point. So we can just scroll down to the bottom and click the Save Changes button. So you'll notice what it did is it changed this to New Reviewer, and the reviewer has actually populated with somebody else. Let's do another one of these. We're going to look at Pat Preston here. So we'll scroll down here, and if you notice in this file attachment area, there is no file attached, and we do need that driver's license. So all we need to do for this is put a check mark next to the license and then say send volunteer email request for selected missing reports. So simply click on this and everything comes pre-populated. If you wanted to, you know, if you think the subject line is confusing, you could say driver's license required. 
you know, you can change the subject so that it makes more sense for the volunteer, but it does tell you down here, please submit a copy of your driver's license. You know, it gives them the link where they can sign on. And so all you really have to do is just click send and that sends that email. And then once we do that, you'll see down here, there is an email log that shows that we asked for this on January 2nd. So if you don't get a response out there, you know, you could call the volunteer. It just depends on how persistent you want to be. At least if anybody asks about this volunteer, you'll know that you had requested this and on what date. Now, if the volunteer brings their driver's license into the office and you want to scan that in and attach it, you can do that from within the volunteer application. So you'll simply go to the attachment area. Once you scan that file in, pick your file and attach it. So I've got a driver's license. So once you navigate to your file and select it, you'll see it populate in this attachment area. And at that point, you can just simply click yes, that this is clear. And if everything's correct, go ahead and choose your reviewer, whoever the next reviewer is in the central office. And then we can simply scroll down and select save changes. Now you'll also want to go through the list of migrated users, which may be some older ones if we never received the driver's license or if you haven't been able to verify this information. So just try to clean this list up. You'll only see the ones where you are the primary coordinator at the first location. So I would suggest that you go through these, open them up, and then just scroll down to the clearances admin area. Now, if you don't have the driver's license attached here, you could simply choose again, like I mentioned, select the license and send them the email. If you've decided that maybe this person's been out there a while, we've never received anything, and you just think this one ought to be removed, you can use the report review comment to say, please remove, and then select whoever the next reviewer would be at the central office, and they'll be able to remove these. So our goal is to kind of work through these old ones out there that have been in a migrating status. And so if you just look at those and either try to contact the volunteer through this to get their driver's license or indicate to your next reviewer to remove these, then this should be a much smoother process moving forward as we have new volunteers. And so the other status that we have in here is the new attachments. So say that you've sent that email to the volunteer to attach their driver's license and they have done so. That's going to show up in that red again for new attachments. So we'll just scroll down here again. We can see where it's been attached. So we can just click on that, open it up, confirm that everything is in order, click yes that it has been cleared, follow all of the directions just like normal, and then go ahead and select that next reviewer and save the changes. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the daily email that you're going to receive titled Volunteer Applications Requiring Your Attention. And this is going to include any volunteers that are new applicants that you need to process or any with new attachments if you've asked them to provide those attachments. So we'll just open this email up. You can see here everything that we had before. And so we can just simply click on this clearance admin link and it's going to take us right back to where we were before on that clearances admin page. So that's everything about the clearances admin model for the approval of volunteers. Thank you for watching.